namorar pobre? Industria is an atmospheric, narrative-driven FPS created by Bleak Mill. Through combining inspiration from David Lynch, Bioshock, and Half-Life 2, Bleak Mill would almost have their debut game complete. All they needed was to add a dash of home. September 30th, 2021 would be the internet's first look into the world of Industria. Waking up to Walter's call, Nora answers only to hear his last words. Listen, our central processing unit Atlas is out of control. I just discovered parts of it all over our servers. We'll just shut it down then. Impossible. It's spread too far already. But there is something else. People are gathering at the checkpoint Bornholmerstrasse. It's happening. Comrade Shabowski publicly said that the wall is open in a press conference just one hour ago. Wait, what? They closed down the office. The Stasi is already here. They are taking everything apart. Nora rushes over to the secret research facility that she works at. What the? A tangent resonance. It's not usually like that. Only to find the place empty with no security guards. Searching for Walter takes her to the center of it all, where the machine is going haywire. What's happening here? Why is it going that long? Going up the machine and entering it, you put two and two together. You did it. You brilliant idiot. Following in Walter's footsteps, you enter a strange, surreal, yet familiar world. Finally! Now get me the hell out of here. Feels so weird now. Oh shit. Oh my god, is this right? Is this supposed to happen? Is this supposed to happen? Oh my god. The gameplay of Industria is simplistic. All you have to do is point and shoot. You can aim as well, and you can heal yourself. You can shoot the arms if you want to. This will reduce the range of the enemy severely, and if you shoot the head, they won't be able to see you at all. This will be important when gaining the advantage. The ammo you find in the game are not a plenty, so choose how you approach a fight. The mechanic of removing the limbs of the opponent reinforces that idea, trust me. The game allows you to pick up and throw stuff, but you can't throw items at enemies to hurt them, at least from what I found. On playing this game, I was greeted by the voice acting. I didn't necessarily hate it, but I only found it okay, coming from Nora. Given the severity of the situation, I think I would be a little bit more in a panic. After crossing over to the other side, not the afterlife, but East Berlin, I felt the atmosphere. What is this place? We'll get to that in a moment. But noticing the gameplay was simple, I was okay at first, but then I started to realize it was a little bit too simple. I felt like there needed to be a little bit more. As the game goes by, I started to notice the Half-Life inspiration. Mostly two. So. The atmosphere of Industria. Once you get to East Berlin and get outside of the factory, you'll see it all come together. The way the levels are designed make it believable that people lived in at some point. That is including the fact that the world is extremely small in scale, and I really do mean that. In fact, I can argue it's just a straight line with some branches poking out, so you can just walk back and continue the story. 
When you go on those branches, you'll probably come across some ammo, and maybe some health vials. Even though I know Industria is a video game, I found it very easy to immerse myself in. And I gotta say, good job on that. An issue I had with Industria was its jank. From glitches, to lighting, to other odd things. They all kept pushing me out of the immersion that I was in. While I did get sucked in rather quickly, I didn't like being pushed out of that trance in the first place. The game needed a little bit more polish. Some of these bugs are a bit silly, honestly. I guess I'm just harping on it because I felt the atmosphere was the game's most important quality. Because honestly, I didn't get really too much out of the gameplay. Which, speaking of which, with a game like Industria having limited ammo, you would think stealth would be an option for the game, but it's not. The robots will always see you. And I find that very odd. If you ever decide to make another Industria, or something like it, you might have to consider this as an option. Adding something like that, I believe, can only help the game. If implemented right, of course. Players would have a choice to only use the guns in more dangerous situations, and prefer to melee in, let's say, a more controlled one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe you can have throwing objects create noise for the robots to head over towards, so you can sneak by them if you want to, or get the upper hand. I liked Industria a lot, but I can't help but feel that there was some untapped potential, you know? However, I understand that this isn't perfect because it's your first game. I'm not trying to be super harsh on everybody on that team. I simply just want you all to succeed in your next game that I know you're making. And that's all I got. If you are interested in the game Industria, you can get it on Steam for $19.99. It may seem like a lot for an experience that's only five to six hours for your first playthrough, but for me, it was worth it for the character interactions alone. It was a really good part of the game, I just couldn't really talk about it without spoiling it. But Nora and Brent had great chemistry. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. It would mean a lot if you did. And if you want updates on what I'm going to do next, please follow me on Twitter.